The DJI Mini 5 Pro has become one of the most talked about drone rumors of the year. And for good reason. Leaked images, retail box photos, FCC filings, and multiple trusted rumor outlets point to a machine that aims to push pro-level imaging and safety features into an ultralight, travel-friendly frame. What we're reading across those leaks suggests DJI is trying to give creators a serious upgrade without forcing them to carry a full-size drone. If the company can pull this off, it would reshape expectations for what a sub-250 gram or near that drone can do. Recent coverage ties together several consistent threads. A much larger image sensor, far better video capability, longer flight times, advanced obstacle sensing, including LiDAR, and a choice of battery packs that change the drone's endurance and possibly its regulatory class. At the heart of the rumors is a dramatic camera leap. Multiple leaks claim the Mini 5 Pro will use a 1-inch CMOS sensor paired with a 24mm f1.8 lens and a lossless crop 48mm medium telemode. If true, that's a big jump from the Mini 4 Pro's 1-slash 1.3-inch chip and would deliver noticeably improved dynamic range, low-light performance, and depth of field control. Reported video specs are equally ambitious. 4K capture at very high frame rates. Some sources say up to 120 frames per second, which would give creators clean slow motion options straight out of the drone. Taken together, a one inch sensor plus high frame rate 4K would put the Mini 5 Pro's image quality much closer to larger, heavier drones while keeping the package compact. Those are exactly the kinds of changes that make the device interesting to filmmakers who travel light. Another recurring theme in the leaks is smarter, more complete obstacle sensing. Sources point to LiDAR being incorporated, often described as forward-facing LiDAR, combined with omnidirectional infrared or optical sensors, giving a level of obstacle detection that miniseries drones haven't offered before. LiDAR would help with accurate distance measurement and obstacle detection in low contrast situations, dawn, dusk, or low texture landscapes, and when paired with improved software could result in safer autonomous flight and more reliable subject tracking. For pilots who fly near trees, buildings, or crowds, this is a meaningful upgrade in terms of risk reduction and confidence. Flight time is another headline item in the leaks. A steady stream of retail box images and accessory lists indicate two battery options. A standard battery that's reported to deliver around 36 minutes of flight time and a larger plus battery that may extend endurance to roughly 52 minutes. The technical caveat many outlets emphasize is weight. Staying under 249 grams keeps the drone in the no registration class in many regions, so DJI appears to be offering a standard configuration optimized to stay under that threshold and an optional higher capacity pack that boosts endurance but might put the craft just over the 250 gram line. That split makes sense from a product strategy standpoint. Buyers focused on the simplest legal travel experience can keep the lighter pack, while power users who prioritize long airtime can choose the plus battery and accept any registration trade-offs. Transmission and control are also in the rumor mix. Leaks and industry write-ups mention OcuSync 4, plus or a similar upgraded transmission system with a very long theoretical range. Some outlets cite figures up to approximately 25 kilometers. Real-world range will always be lower because of local regulations and interference, but the upshot is stronger link reliability and potentially better low-latency video feeds for remote monitoring and precision piloting. The accessory bundle outlook looks pro-minded, too. Fly-more combos shown in leaks reportedly include ND filters, a three-battery charging hub, and a touchscreen RC2 style controller option. Elements that tell a clear story about DJI aiming this model at serious creators rather than casual hobbyists. One of the most widely circulated calendar notes in the rumor cycle is an expected mid-September announcement with several sources pointing specifically to September 18th as a likely official reveal or launch date. The date appears in leak timelines, retail listings, and a few internal-looking memos that have circulated among tipsters. 
Some outlets also suggested teaser activity or soft announcements around September 16th to 18th. That timeline is consistent across multiple independent leak aggregators and specialist drone sites, which gives the date more weight than a lone rumor. Still, until DJI posts an official press release or their website shows the product page, these calendar dates remain unofficial. If you're planning to buy or pre-order, treat September 18th as a strong rumor rather than confirmed fact, useful for planning, but not gospel until DJI itself confirms it. Price and availability details have also leaked, though those numbers drift between sources. Current estimates place a possible base price in the region of 700 to 900 euros for the standard kit and a higher figure for the Fly More combo, depending on which accessories are included. Some outlets suggest DJI may not launch the Mini 5 Pro in every market at once, or may restrict initial availability in the US, based on recent patterns with other DJI product launches. These regional restrictions would affect importers and buyers differently, so it's something to watch closely if you live outside DJI's first wave markets. As always, with pricing leaks, expect some fluctuation and remember that early pre-order prices sometimes include promotional bundles that change the effective cost. What does all of this mean for people who shoot video, make short films, or travel with gear? If the leaks are accurate, the Mini 5 Pro would represent a rare convergence of portability and pro-capable imaging. A 1-inch sensor in a compact body would let content creators get cleaner aerial footage in challenging light. Long flight times reduce the need to swap batteries in the field. LiDAR and better avoidance systems increase safety and reduce pilot stress. And pro accessories mean the drone could be used seriously on commercial shoots. There are, however, real trade-offs to consider. Choosing a larger battery might require registration in some countries, and a more complex sensor and LiDAR suite could increase repair costs or complicate firmware updates. Buyers should weigh whether the convenience of a featherweight body with flagship features fits their workflow and legal environment. Finally, it's worth noting how unusual these rumors are in one respect. They suggest DJI is attempting to compress flagship-level technology into a form factor that historically prioritized weight and simplicity over sheer performance. That's a difficult engineering challenge, and leaks can sometimes be optimistic guesses or reflect prototype configurations that change before launch. The best course for anyone following this story is to watch for DJI's official announcement, rumored around September 18th, read hands-on reviews from trusted reviewers once review units are available and compare measured performance, actual image samples, real flight times, and obstacle avoidance reliability, rather than relying solely on spec sheets. If DJI pulls this off, the Mini 5 Pro could be a genuinely transformative tool for on-the-go creators. If not, it will still likely push competitors and future DJI models toward better cameras and smarter sensing in small packages.